Greetings once again, you super speedy heroes out there. Deez this then back again with the fly. Previously, Bloodwork managed to escape during Barry's second 30th birthday party because he regressed in age because of comic book BS. <laughs> like, come on. Oh, man. Though it's funny, I take so much umbrage with that, and yet, you know, comic books. Weird stuff is always happening, because comic. Bloodwork's plan? While he wasn't able to t fully take over Barry last time, with Wally West in town, and despite his trip to reach enlightenment, he still has a deep-seated anger within him. Bloodwork preys upon that, in order to get Wally to open up a gate to the multiverse. That's right, Bloodwork didn't try to stop at world domination, no. He wanted dominion over the multiverse itself. And with such a grand scale issue, who would be the one for the job? None other than Oliver Queen, the Spectre. So temporarily taking on a mortal form yet again, he teams up with Barry, as well as John Diggle, to free Wally from Bloodwork's control, and essentially send an antibody through the portal that Wally generated for Bloodwork, thus essentially curing his infectious disease throughout the multiverse, even turning Bloodwork back into a normal human, as well as curing his incurable disease. That way he can rot in prison. And with that, Oliver returned to his life as an unseen force in the multiverse. But he was able to reaffirm to Barry that despite all the losses, he still does great work. He is still a necessary force in the multiverse. But the question now remains, what other threats lie upon the horizon? What other heroes will return as we enter in to the final story arc of the final season of The Flash? What'll happen? Let's find out, shall we? Oh, uh, blue roses? Oh, those are fake. Those are fake flowers. Huh, oh, is this Eddie? Uh, this is Thawne, isn't it? Why is he living in Joe's house? Mercury Lab? Or is that not who I think it is? Something's odd here. Very nice shot though and mercury lab what do i know mercury labs from they talk about it from time to time right always get the guard a cup of coffee huh. and doctor huh alternate universe gotta be an alternate universe thing oh a new world <laughs> Wow, that is, uh, quite the title, huh? Oh, part one, reunions. Okay, you've never done it like that. Who is the light meta? Nice. What is she trying on? What the heck is she wearing? Um, ew. Is that supposed to be a superhero outfit? It's like a freaking bathrobe. No, Chester. God, no. <laughs> Thank you for being honest. It's like, oh my god, you hate it. Yes, yes, yes. Like, ah, oh, you have a healthy relationship. Thank you. I mean, the goggles in and of themselves are cool. Just the math. I mean, dude, I, I get it, you want to be yourself and all that, but at the same time, like, you're, you're concerned about your identity. Wear the mask, jeez. Oh, oh Cecile is away. You want to come over? You, oh, damn! <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'd say you could take it off at the lab, but, you know. Oh, we're actually seeing the house. Although I still feel weird about him not being in the previous episode with Wally, like, in one of the issues. Then again, Joe would have immediately talked some sense into Wally, and we wouldn't have had a plot. Also, Cecile, damn, her ass in those pants. I'm sorry, I'm a pervert, but her ass in the pants, though. Wow, oh, it is odd having a new set. Oh. Honestly, I wasn't sure if we were going to see Joe again, as he said he misses his wife. Oh, cheers. Salud. Jenna, perpetually off-screen. Huh. Man, there is a weirdly ominous nature to some of these scenes. As where we're just checking in on everybody's lives? I mean, are we in a different world? Oh, hey. Huh. A ah, lot more plant life. Whoa, what the heck? Is she evaporating into the... No way. Man, she is a lot more powerful than Frost was. <laughs> hey, she only called upon three of them. She don't care about the rest of y'all. Oh, she's writing a diary to Caitlyn and Frost. Oh, this is an interesting... Huh, wait, another new ability? Oh, Mark. Oh, whoa! Uh, why, why are you looking at me when you say that? <laughs> Okay, who directed this episode? Because we got real artsy all of a sudden. Maybe it's because it's, you know, the last few episodes. Oh, oh, she is very pregnant right now. Yeah, I mean, you're about to pop any moment. <laughs> Baby proofing, yeah. Uh, um, I get it. You don't want to suppress your child, but at the same time, a super speedy baby? Yeah. No, I'm sorry, just in case. Oh, nominated for a Pulitzer. Oh, how much time has passed? Oh. Oh, whoa, what the heck? 
Um, okay, that was weird. Blue energy? What? Uh, wait, CD player? Oh god, is he in the 90s? He's in the 90s, isn't he? Oh, yep, 2000. Yeah, I was close. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he's just like, oh crap, what did I do? The year 2000, oh god, no. I was nine. I'm dating myself, but just saying. Okay, gonna try to run home. It's not gonna allow him to, is it? Oh god! Ooh! Well, could have been a lot worse. Uh-oh, okay. I thought they were coming for him for a second. Oh, you're not gonna go visit Joe, are you? Oh boy. Barry, tread carefully, buddy. Go for 20 years in the past. Oh, sing. <laughs> Barry. Okay. <laughs> Uh, are you sure you should be doing this, Barry? Uh, what's she gonna tell him, Barry? Uh, Tina McGee. Uh, 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 I get here he's trying to do the right thing here. You know, not just raid the place and take what you need, but... Then again, everything's analog now, so... There's no way to do that without it may be disrupting things. The music's really good in this episode, too. Hmm. Oh, uh, wait. March 18th, Saturday. Is it the day... No way. No. Barry? Wait, why Why this day? Oh jeez, payphones, god. Don't miss those. Oh, Martin Stein? Uh, oh, <laughs> his parents. Uh, why bring him back to this moment? Oh, Barry. Barry? Whoa, Eobard? Oh shit. Oh, <laughs> flip phones, jeez. Man, that was a hell of a sucker punch. I mean, Thawne must have realized it was Barry. Did Thawne do this? Why bring Barry back here? Uh, is he being treated by... Of course, his dad. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Bart. Oh, he's freaking on the verge of tears. Ah. Uh, yep, Zatara. Wait, Zatara? Oh, oh jeez. He's gonna end up hanging out with his past self. <sighs> and of course, Joe is just like, okay. Whoa, whoa. Wait, what? Something calling out to Joe. What is that? Crystal? Huh. Yeah, the end of... The last season had a weird crystal. Okay, weird crystal calling out to someone is never good. Glowing blue eyes, never good. And Zatara. Like, Giovanni Zatara? Or Zatanna Zatara? <sighs> what is the angle here? Yeah, I know he's trying real hard not to screw with the past. Oh god. Oh god, who's doing this? This is messed up. Oh, jeez. I'd say it's weird that they're being so kind to a stranger, but she outright said it's just like, it looks just like my father. It's just like, ooh boy. Ah, oh, jeez. What is going on here? It's, it's Thon, right? Oh, speak of the devil. Oh, wait, pre-transformation Thon? Weird. He should have had the appearance of Harrison Wells by now. What's going on? Huh, <laughs> and Thon's just like, do it. Go on, do it. Oh, shit. Um, oh, he's a lot more like do it than I thought he was. Jeez. I don't think Thawne's behind this. Okay, Thawne is definitely not behind this. What is going on here? This is the Thawne who came back to 2000. What the hell is going on? Huh. Oh god, they're not hanging out at Shaughnessy's, are they? Really? Oh god, he's getting his kicks off of this. Again, the angles here are so much more dynamic than I'm used to. <laughs> Ooh, beer. <laughs> to enjoy the day, I kill your parents. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Huh. <sighs> Something's really weird here. And the crystal. What the... <sighs> Alright, Thawne is just being petty. Yeah, what is he waiting for? Or was he brought back to stop Thawne? Say what? Say what? You went, really? Hey, uh, you could beat him to a bloody pulp. Oh god. <laughs> it's like he just jizzed himself. Oh god. <laughs> uh, I do appreciate how much he loves this. <laughs> Love that. You can't walk away from what's about to happen. I right know. I can walk towards it. Damn. Oh. Oh. <sighs> I do find it interesting, the idea that they have this pull to him and this kindness to him. Kind of like subconsciously knowing who he is, but not. <sighs> what is about to... Okay, weird demonic voice. Kind of makes me think of Savitar. What is that voice? It's not Thawne. That crystal, it looked like what was created at the end of the previous season. Oh, is it Joe? Oh, Barry. Oh, Barry. Come on, you should be questioning that a lot more than you are. It's just like, Barry, it's okay, I know you're stuck here in the past. I would have been like, you should not. These are a million red flags going off right now. Who are you? Okay, yeah, no. Yep. No, nope. Barry. Oh, wait, what? This is the top. What? What? Okay, what the hell is going on? Like, seriously. Is this some ancient entity? Imbalance. The 
Wait, what? He's the negative speed force itself. It is the negative speed force. <laughs> so now the negative speed force is coming for him personally. It's just, holy crap. Okay, that's a little wild. He has to have a host. Wait, they? Oh, oh, damn. Um, hey, that's not Bloodworks' mom, is it? Nah, 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 they put too much emphasis on her. It must, whoa. <laughs> okay, for a second I thought he had a suit on. I was about to say, how did they fit him in that? Uh, playing dirty. Yeah, he's holding Joe hostage. Freaking dirty. Yeah, Rosa. Yeah, it is Bloodworks' mom. Huh. Jeez. You know what? I shouldn't even be surprised. The speed force itself has been its own thing, and then you had the whole negative forces, and now and now the whole idea that the negative speed force itself is coming after Barry, like, yeah, that sounds about right. How does he deal with this, though? Yeah. Oof. So, the negative speed force pulled him here in order to basically put him in an uh, almost impossible situation. Jeez. Oh man, Singh isn't gonna end up dying in all this, is he? I mean, there's no way this doesn't have repercussions on the timeline. Oof, poor Joe. Uh, you should not be caught over Joe's unconscious body. Oh, yep. Yeah. Damn. Oh, jeez. What's the plan, Barry? Oh, uh, little baby. Oh, whoa. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, did, did he like perform an exorcism? Good. Oh, the crystal. Nice. Oh. Damn, slippery bastard. Oh, 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 this made it seem like he fell asleep in his cop car. <laughs> you good? Huh, you know something's up. Ah, oh, jeez. Run, Barry, run! Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Wait, save him? What does that mean? What does he mean? Oh, oh. Because the negative speed force is pissed off that Barry killed Thawne, its avatar. Well, Thawne kind of killed himself to a certain extent, but yeah. So by allowing Thawne to live, that could change things. At, at what point does he go and save that crowd and ruin Thawne's life? Huh. Yeah, can you break through that his pettiness? Huh. Nah. Thawne's too petty and bitter for this. Oh boy. Oh man, it's been a while since we've seen this. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. <laughs> he sapped his speed? Okay, so he still ended up killing her. Ah, uh, it's a fixed point. <laughs> Which is funny, that's Legends. And here's the bitterness, the resentment, the hate. Ooh, baby. <laughs> I, it's cheesy, but I love the fact that he's he's countering Eobard with love. Eobard's hate and Barry's love. It, it's cheesy, but this is their character. Like, ever since especially Flashpoint, like, the rivalry between Barry and Eobard was always a thing in the comics. But Flashpoint brought it to a Boil that has never ceased. Like, even now in the comics, with the alterations that they've made, and I do wonder how they're gonna furnish everything out here. I mean, it took, it always takes love to counter Eobard's hate. Oh, uh, <laughs> and then the Wells' car pulls up. Uh, okay, what? is this fun oh but eddie isn't a scientist or is this another eddie and what is this negative speed force th oh wait chemicals wait a minute is that the negative speed force oh boy oh jeez oh jeez <laughs> wait what a police report huh what the hell what's in the police report something about eddie thon his death oh jeez what but he's not a police here wait what? Wait, what? Aren't you Eddie Thawne? What? Okay, I'm so confused. Hey, who is Eddie Thawne? I must have missed something. I thought his name was Eddie. Or maybe I just convinced myself. Is it- is it Timeline Shenanigans? I don't- did- did I hear this guy's name? I am so confused. And was that guy imbued with the negative speed force? Or did the negative speed force just deliver that document? The negative speed force is up to something. Huh. It was fun though getting yet another confrontation between Eobard and Barry. Like that's always the money maker right there. Huh. I do wonder what's gonna happen. I'm 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 just at a loss. I like the way a lot of this was shot though. And a lot of the sound design too. But it's mostly just the curiosity. What is the negative speed force up to? Well, let me know your thoughts and theories in the comment section below. Not to mention, where do you think Barry ended up this time? The future? Even further in the past? Or did he get to go home? I wanna hear from you. 
Also remember to subscribe for more of the fly. And until then, I've been Dees Dees Din. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.